Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Chris. And I'm Lyra. And today we got a real dope video for you guys called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 4, Episode 20, Return of Savanti Part 1. And Savanti. <laughs> but Part 1, so we got a Part 1 and a Part 2, guys. We are excited for this. Obviously, we're going to have a back to back Ooh. episode. So this is going to be very exciting. Listen, the last episode, Insane in the Membrane, was very. Ooh very sad for mr stockman hopefully he did not pass away and he's back in the soon to come episodes i really like the character That's i really, really do true. And it's our first time watching a, a dr stockman episode you know Yup, and it was um, the thing with his mom and calling April his mom and stuff yeah. like that. Something insane in the membrane happened in that there thing, you go. and he rushed it. He rushed it for sure. But yeah, hey, guys, did. if you missed that episode, just go to our team NT um, play this at Chris Alera. Please go enjoy. Also, subscribe if you're new, and let my girl always says, Let's start the video. Let's go. And right now, I can't help but think of an old saying. Be careful what you wish for. All my life, I've been fascinated with what they call terrible lizards and thunder beasts. Dinosaurs. But now, amazingly, I got my wish. Hey. Here I am in the Cretaceous period, 65 million years ago, finally seeing them with my own two eyes, while running for my life. So, be careful what you wish for, or just like the dinosaurs, you might find yourself facing sudden extinction. Mm. Ooh, what do you think about the beginning? Man, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. We have another Dawn episode. Let's get it. Hey. Let's go, guys. Return us up. I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Raph's oh. right. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh my gosh. What are you talking about? This is going to be great. How can you not be excited about being in a museum? Boring. You won't think that when we get to the main attraction. They Is it a snack bar? Because that I could get excited about. Of course. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Oh my god. The museum is closing in 20 minutes, so there shouldn't be many people here. But keep a low profile. Uh, at least wear gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done? Oh. Tight. That's not exactly what I meant by low profile. <laughs> Sorry. You okay, Don? You've been looking a little under the weather lately. Just a stuffy nose. Nothing serious enough to miss this. Ooh. Dinosaurs. The door is ripped. Fantastic. <laughs> It's the biggest dinosaur exhibit in the country. Yeah, this is way better than playing video games and reading comic books. Thanks, Don. You know, it's not too late to ditch this and go find someone to fight. Bishop's monsters are still out there. Fighting them would be less painful than this. Wow. Look, there's a Stegosaurus Whoa. and a Pteranodon skeleton. And just glorious oh. rips. Look, there's a Nerdosaur. Oh and my. I see a Geekosaurus Rex. Mm. I've been a dinosaur fanatic as long as I can remember. Cool fossils, all the different species, the mystery of their extinction. What's not to like? Besides, see that Archelon? As turtles, we've got ancestors that go all the way back, even before the Cretaceous period. That's your grandpa. Dinosaurs are like mm -hmm. our ancient cousins. Yeesh. And I thought Raph was the ugliest relative we had. Dang. Hardy ha, Mikey. Oh! 
What the? Mikey Rat, easy. <clears throat> As I was saying. <sighs> Did I mention the animatronic exhibits? They're state of the art. Look, Donnie, Chickenosauruses. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious Rex. And what's there's the, the king. Ah, uh, what's up? The Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I'd hate to run into that in the dark alley. Just imagine what it must have been like back then. No. Herds of dinosaurs grazing peacefully. Then peacefully, boom, huh? Boom, boom. The T Rex attacks. Hey Don, is that a robot too? What? Of course. Uh, no. no. No, it's not. Every mind every reminds me of like uh Night of the Museum. All yeah. you gotta do is just get the bone and just play with it. Pause. <laughs> I'm assuming this isn't part of the exhibit. I think that's a good assumption. Huh? Greetings from the Cretaceous, you miserable reptiles. <laughs> Bro, who are you? <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. Hey guys, ain't it funny that these guys can't even go to the museum without anything happening, guys? I know. That is crazy. They just wanted to go on a fun adventure yeah, it was, at the museum. It was just a chill day for them today. But... <laughs> yeah. Goodness Christ. <laughs> I would run away too. I if I find see that. Freaks here yeah. along with the dinosaurs. Hmm. For soon, you too shall be extinct. That's Savanti Romero. Savanti Romero? Savanti. Didn't you guys tell me he was banished millions of years in the past? That's what we thought. There's nowhere you can hide from my magic. Even from the distant past, I can find you and send this message of your impending, inevitable doom. A message of doom, when you care enough to send the very best. You should never have interfered in my plans to capture the Time Scepter. And now, you will pay! Mark my words, turtles. Everything you know, everything you care about, I will erase! From the past, I will destroy your futures! I will deal with Lord Simultaneous and his apprentice soon enough. But wiping out your entire timeline will be a good start to my revenge! Enough of this noise! Bring it now, bonehead! <laughs> Should you wish to try and stop me, I'll be waiting in the ring of fire! Hey, oh. I'm talking to you! You can't do that. I can't take you guys anywhere. Hmm, Why one. is it all these bad guys don't stay down when we put a beating on them? Did you notice how we didn't respond to Rack? It was weird. Like a recording, or a time capsule. Like he knew we would be here tonight. And enchanted oh. those bones from the past. Hmm. Do you think he can really make good on all those threats? I don't know. Magic's not really my thing. Look, this is the ring of fire he mentioned. It's a string of volcanoes that lines the entire Pacific Ocean, from Japan to Alaska. Well, that narrows it down. It doesn't make sense. He challenged us to stop him. But he must know we don't have any way to get to him in the past. We'd need a time machine. Oh, Hi, rough. guys. Oh, wow. It is, like, so great to see you guys again. Huh? Uh, Renette? I can't believe it's, like, been so long. Well, it seems like a long time. But in no time, you never know. <laughs> This can't be a coincidence. Renette, what are you doing here? I'm graduating! Well, at least I am if I pass my final exam. 
Lord Simultaneous says this Chrono Crisis is my final, so I'm like totally stressed. And if, no, not if, when I pass, I'll go from Apprentice Timestress to Temporal Infraction Explicator First Grade. So that's Renette. Yeah, she's kind of a lot to take in. <laughs> Renette, if Lord Simultaneous knows this is happening, why doesn't he just fix it? He's the all-powerful master of time, right? Well, I... Like, because I'm supposed to do it. It's my final exam. And I came here to see if you guys want to help. Let's go. Another adventure. Let's get it. Guys, huddle up. Okay, look. I know Savanti's setting a trap. You know Savanti's setting a trap. But we can't really leave this to Renette, can we? Especially because if Savanti Romero can somehow destroy us from the past, it should have happened already. Mm -hmm. Meaning? Meaning little Miss TikTok over there might be the one that goes back in time and messes things up for all of us. Mm. And I mean all of us. I'm down. All right, Renette. We'll go with you and help in any way we can. Yes! Trust me, this is going to be a breeze. I've gotten, like, really good with the time scepter. Here we go! Whoa, I mean, hold on. Renette, right? I'm April. Of course I know you, April. Remember when I showed you... Oh, wait. That hasn't happened yet. Oops, <laughs> sorry. I always do that. What? Um, look. Can you just drop me off at home? I don't think I'm up for a trip to the Cretaceous today. Oh, no problem. Home it is. Oh. Wrong home. <laughs> uh, I meant my home. Master Splinter, you're never going to believe this, but... Stop, please. It is probably better that I do not know. Hey, now she got her walk to her. Hey, I thought you said you were getting good with that thing. I am. Wow, I like actually did it. Should we be worried she sounds so surprised? Yes. This is incredible. Look at it all. Look, there's an Apatosaurus. A real living Apatosaurus. A what? <laughs> On your toes, guys. We might look like snacks to some of these things. I ain't afraid of no prehistoric dino brain. Whoa. We need to be careful while we're here. This isn't some other dimension or an alternate universe. Mm -hmm. This is our world's past. Anything we do could alter the future. We could unintentionally change our entire timeline. We can't leave anything behind. And we have to... Gesundheit. <sighs> so if I leave these clothes here, oh you think so? Oh my something... gosh. Could it be the symptoms of his leg? Oh, yes. Right? That's why he's been yeah, sneezing and stuff? Because if... If they're gonna get like those the green thing that made them, wouldn't they be like a hundred percent healthy, no getting sick, no nothing, guys? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's the, yeah, the it symptoms is, of the it legs. Is. I feel like it. I just this is my my brain just thought of it. Some archaeologists in the present would find them and mm. freak out. Maybe it looks like we better pack everything up. Don't forget nothing. It was waiting the whole time, not doing Let's nothing. Now, the first thing we need to do is get a fix on our loc. <laughs> Oops. I mean, they're not. Um, they're Sorry. harmless. Huh? Oh my gosh. Then those are the, the miniature ones. Oh no, they were right here. I thought it was a small one.
It is kind of fun. Okay. Fine. Here, let me take a look at it. Maybe something shook loose during the stampede. Hey! Oh. Smell his butt. <laughs> Hi, big fella. I think he likes you, Rath. You should embrace this. Not many people think you smell good. Nah. <laughs> Surprised he didn't pass out, right? Lose something? What? This. Uh, I always keep a spare bag of chips around. You never know when you might need a snack. <laughs> Brothers. Ah, you're a good dino, aren't you? Don't do it. No. I'm gonna call you Zog. Maybe you're Zog's great, 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 great grandpappy. Zog. Zog was an alien, Mikey. And I hate to point out that you could have just changed all of human history by feeding that dinosaur a potato chip from the future. Yep. Ow! Way to go, doofus. Renette, are you sure the scepter isn't working? Oh, I think it's overheating. It's not supposed to glow red. Oh, it's got a control. Oh, yep. Huh? Who's a good boy? What do you see, my sucky white boy? Turn right. Something's coming. Dynonicus, one of the most vicious of the carnivores. What'd you say before, Renette? Refresh my memory. Oh, yeah. Trust me, this is gonna be a breeze. Breathe. You can kill them. Heads up, everyone. The Deinonychus is one of the smartest of the dinosaurs. They're fast, with powerful jaws, and they have a razor-sharp sickle claw on each foot. Mm. You know, being a dino fanatic was a lot more endearing when we weren't about to be eaten by an actual dinosaur. That's a fact. Anything else we need to know? Uh, did I mention... People blind? They can jump! <gasps> Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Lizard. Get 
Stay by the bell. You see, he's be they're being controlled. Scared him off? Nope. You think something really horrible is coming now? Yep. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that's the big one. Oh. Whatever it is, it's big. Humongous word. Victorious <laughs> rip. Big and hungry. Oh, snap. Now, yep, it's about to be a party. <laughs> Welcome, turtles, to your extinction. <laughs> About to be a party. We got the return of Zog over here. And any type of an in different type, you know? Yeah, different type, but at least we got the ancestor, you know? I know. But man, this episode was great. I really loved it. She needed to know that it was being controlled. Yeah. And you was really right. Like when it turned around and you said somebody was really controlled. Yeah, of course. Even the even the animals, the eyes was red as yeah. hell. But hey, look, I really enjoyed this episode. Can't wait for you guys to tell us anything that we missed in the comment section below and also the conversations, man. We love reading the conversations. Also, how do you guys feel about April not being there, man? It would have been such a dope thing. I know, but she loves like those kind of adventure, you know? Yeah, I think she would have. She would have came huge yeah. in this episode because she loved the, the rainforest and, and the trees and all that, the nature, nature, all that. But yeah, I really, I, it was a funny moment that she got dropped off there because taking a taxi back home is kind of tough at that moment. <laughs> It was crazy because Master Splinter was having his, you know, his time, yeah. his quiet time when April just came out of nowhere. Exactly, guys. But listen, we enjoyed this episode so much. Hey, join our Discord. We're going to have a follow-up to the conversation with our Discordians. And also, Discord. yes, I called it that. It's and a Discord crew. Yeah, Discord crew. Also, subscribe if you're new. And like this video up. Hey, give us so much love, guys. Give us 100 likes, man. We get a whole week of TMNT, man. Ooh. There you go, guys. Chris Early Christmas presents. Yes. <laughs> but, but yeah, guys. Like my girl always says to end the video. So don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.